Get used to these sticky days with light winds as we move into the winter months. We could also see less of the trades and less rainfall, too. KITV Force Cam Tran shows us why winter might not be as wet as usual. Wally, Isel, Anna. Thanks to those storms, our dry season wasn't very dry at all. In fact, the dry season, which runs from May through September, it was one of the, the wettest dry seasons in the last 30 years. 16 rain gauges across the state set monthly rainfall records, and just everyone got the rainfall, even leeward areas, which are usually very dry. Hydrologist Kevin Kodama says the summer showers were enough to pull most of the state out of drought conditions. Fortunately, it's allowed a lot of the areas to turn green again, and so heading into, into the wet season, a lot of places are in pretty good shape. I mean, when's the last time you saw Diamond Head green in, in October and, and November? I mean, Even though we saw abnormally wet weather for the dry season, forecasters are predicting abnormally dry weather for the wet season. So the outlook right now is the Climate Prediction Center is still anticipating El Nino to develop. The expectation for the wet season is that we're looking for below average rainfall. A weak El Nino brings larger surf to the North Shore and weaker winds across the state. And as for those cooler temperatures many of us look forward to in the winter season, well, there won't be as many cold fronts coming through, meaning... It'll still be a two-blanket night, just maybe not three-blanket. <laughs> Cam Tran, KITV 4 News. We know Paula's disappointed. She likes those three blanket yeah. nights. I'd take a two blanket. <laughs> I don't know. All right. The National Weather Service telling us there's still the possibility for thunderstorms to form in winter months, so we need to always be prepared for flash flooding. And that includes cleaning out your gutters and knowing what your emergency plans are if you live in a flood prone area. Good advice.